Today we will talk about behavioral activation. What is behavioral activation? When we think about depression, we have problems with our energy. We have low energy, low motivation. We don't have the drive to do anything. So what happens, we spend a lot of time on our couch, on our bed. We spend a lot of time watching TV or we spend a lot of time on social media. There is a lot of research showing that people spend almost two hours on social media each day. The more time we spend on social media, there are chances of us getting more depressed if we spend too much time on social media. It's always okay to, you know, be on social media if we are doing something important or only for a short period of time. But what happens with depression, we are spending too much time on activities that are making us more depressed, like being on the couch, being on, on our bed, watching TV or not socializing, not doing a lot of physical activity. And that's where behavioral activation will help with our depression. Before we talk about behavioral activation, let's talk about the cognitive behavioral therapy quickly. What cognitive behavioral therapy is, it's one of the best treatment uh, or one of the best therapy treatment for depression. What happens, the way we think is how we feel and the way we feel is how we act or how we behave. So what happens with behavioral activation we will talk about the behavior that we have, which is the third aspect of cognitive behavioral therapy. So how we think is how we feel and how we feel it affects what we do or how we behave. If we can control how we behave or what we do or what kind of activities we do, it can also help our mood. It can also help our thinking. So to help with our depression, either we have to work on how we think, how we feel, or how we behave. So in this video, we will talk about behavioral activation. What can we do to help us do some activities that can help our mood? So let's talk about behavioral activation. What will happen that when we are feeling depressed, we don't want to do a lot of things. Things we used to enjoy, we are not enjoying things. Watching um, movies. Uh, even watching movies sometimes we are not enjoying it, reading books, going outside, uh, going with friends, uh, exercising, going on a hike, uh, cooking, spending time with the family. So we are not enjoying things we used to enjoy in the past. And that's where we will talk about behavioral activation. What we will like to do is to first figure out how is our day like because without having a data, it's very difficult to change anything. So that's why we will talk first about how is our day looks like. We can, you know, get a weekly calendar or we can even Google that online and then we can jot down things what we are doing throughout our day. We don't have to be very, we don't have to do each hour if we don't want to do it, but we can just estimate how much time we are spending during the daytime and what time we are doing certain amount of things. Let's say I wake up at let's say 6 in the morning um, from 6.30 to 7 if I'm exercising I'll jot that down then I go to work I come back home spend time with my family uh, doing my journaling talking to my friends so whatever I'm doing I will jot down each and every day and at the end of the day I will rate my mood from 1 to 10, where 10 is the best mood, 1 is the worst mood, and 2 to 9 are in the middle. And I will document each and every day the thing that I'm doing, and I will also document my mood level at the end of the day. After a week or two weeks, I will review the data, and then what I'll do, I'll, if I will see there are cup two or three days that my mood is, let's say, six out of seven, uh, ten and or eight out of ten, then I'll pick those days in which I have the best mood. And then I will review the data. Is there anything that I am doing that is making me feel happy? Let's say I come up with this thing. Hey, I am spending time with a friend of mine. My mood is good. I am going outside for a walk for five minutes. I'm enjoying that or I am cooking something, I'm enjoying it. So the next week 
or two weeks I will plan that week. I will add these things that I am enjoying. Ideally I don't want to add too many things because if I add too many things then I can be overwhelmed. So let's say uh, in the next week I would like to do two things. One is watch a movie with a friend of mine and the second thing is I will cook something. So what I will do uh, before Monday either on Saturday or Sunday I will call a friend of mine and say hey you know are you free this day let's go watch a movie if my friend is not free I will talk to some other friend the reason I'm doing it I am planning everything because a lot of time we have hindrance or obstacle and if we are not planning things at the end of the day when we are saying oh I'm gonna do this tomorrow and if I don't have any plan so I will not be able to do that thing and it will make me more depressed and more upset so that's why I would like to plan it if I would like to cook something let's say if I would like to bake fish so two to three day in advance I will make sure that I have all the ingredients so I don't have to worry about all these things on the day of what I am doing. So I will jot down these things that okay I will go with a buddy of mine on a movie on Thursday at 6 p.m. I already planned it and I put it in my activity calendar and then I will cook on let's say Tuesday night I will talk to my family hey you know I will be the one who will be cooking this meal so I will make sure that they are also prepared that I will be cooking so then I will um, again uh, review my day I will write down how, what's my day was like what did I do and how was my mood like and after a week I will again review it and see if some of the things that I planned and I did did it affect my mood in a positive way or a negative way and that's what I will be doing each way I will try to add more and more activities or different activities let's say going outside on a walk let's say going to downtown um, let's say calling my family or um, I will start a project or I will start learning something different so I will try to mix and match do things differently just to keep myself activated and also will try to do things that I feel happy and I am more physically active and also um, I am stimulating my brain also. Also I will try to do activities that I am being present in the moment also rather than just doing things. So whatever activities I am doing I would like to be present in the moment and mindfully doing those practice. So try this I would recommend at least trying to try to do it for four to six weeks and you will notice improvement in your mood it, it has a lot of research behind it and I have seen a lot of people who have done uh, behavioral activation therapy and they have seen remarkable improvement in their mood so I hope you do it and if you have any questions please let me know thanks for watching